Okay, today's tree is a Peruri tree, botanical name Vitex lucens. So first thing you'll notice about this tree is it's got great shape. Now they naturally grow in quite quite a nice form, but this one's actually been crown raised as well to give us access underneath so the mower can mow up to it. It's been mulched down there as well so the mower doesn't get too close. But something else you'll notice despite being crown raised it actually has virtually no wounds on the trunk. It's got an old 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 one there from many years ago. But mainly they're just little wounds like this. This one here you see they're completely healed over. They were done about three years ago. Yeah, healed over. Healed over. And then there's a few out on the tips here. That's a bit more recent one, hasn't healed yet. So you see we've still got heaps of clearance. But we haven't needed to take any of these big main sort of scaffolding branches off. And that's a lot better for the tree. For one thing, as you can see, it's healed over almost all of the cuts. And also it keeps the wounds away from the trunk, so you're not getting bugs or rot or anything like that. Another thing about this tree, you notice, know, got a big inclusion here which is this sort of tight union going down here now, these are quite bad you want to eliminate them when you can now this one can't really be eliminated anymore now, if you'd been looking after this since it was a sapling perhaps you could have just pruned this whole piece off and it would have healed over but now it's far too big for that and that piece actually makes up about half of the tree so we're stuck with it so the only kind of remedy you can do for it, you can take a bit of weight perhaps off the off the extremities and just keep an eye on it really. Another thing interesting on this tree, you notice these holes. So that's quite a big one. Uh, there's quite a few of them. There's another one in there. Now these are actually from a Peruri moth or a, a whole lot of Peruri moths. And what they do is they drill up here at an angle and then down and the moth hangs in the inside of the tree. And I believe they're the biggest moth in the world. I'm not 100% sure about that. And they do these little holes. They do them on other trees as well. I, I seem to have quite a few of them around here that have holes like that. So that's pretty much this. That's it for this one. Hope you've all found that interesting. And I'll see you next week.